morning, it is Tuesday the 24th and this is actually a really important day for Saint-Marie de la Mer because it is when the Gypsy Festival kicks off so everything's a little bit busy today and we're moving from our hotel in the countryside into the village which is about 4 or 5k away and I just came outside to film my um, my kind of outfit of the week outfit and all the horses have just been watching me and are like neighing at me I'm going to show you We're just leaving Hotel de Cacharel just now and it was a really nice day, I would really recommend it here. Um, the people were really nice, really friendly. It is very kind of rustic and basic though, so if you want luxury it's probably not for you. But it is really nice and the location's great. We saw flamingos and horses right outside our window. There's free Wi-Fi everywhere. Breakfast is basic but hearty. Your evening meals aren't so great, but they were fine for the one meal that we had here and then we had one in the town yesterday. Um, it's just a cold plate of like cheese and ham and things like that. It was still really nice. There is a pool, but we didn't use it. We didn't really have the time. There isn't any aircon in the rooms, which m you might feel in the kind of height of summer, but um, I think they're converted stables, so they're built to stay cool and we certainly didn't have any problem with being too hot. If anything, we were like, mm, let's make sure we've got our duvets on the, the beds actually. And now we're going to stay at a hotel in the town called Villa de la Mar and we're going to drop our bags off there and then go explore the town and hopefully see some of the festival. We've arrived at a new hotel which is Villa de la, Mer, de la Mar and it is really nice as well. We've left our bags there to come for in exploring the town. Alive today. The town is just like hustly and bustly. It's really nice. And we found some really nice pottery um, sort of dishes, which I think mum is looking at a few of them. And this print is the one that we like. So I thought I'd give you a quick room tour because it's really nice and kind of fancy. You come in the door and we've got like a little breakfast bar, desk, sofa, and then over here is the bathroom and bath. This is our room and this is our terrace here that overlooks the pool in here. The situation is not to explain, but you never
kind of, I'm probably not getting the best shots that I could be because I'm very much wanting to be in the role of observer, not participant and interfere with anyone's religious or cultural ceremonies. So we're, I'm now just trying to get somewhere around the sea where I think they're all going to go in. I've left the beach and I'm heading back to the hotel because although I could see where the procession was coming onto the beach, it was so far away and so busy. Plus I didn't want to really get any closer because I think it's like an important thing. I think it's important these sort of things not to become like, not to invade um, the kind of ceremonies just because you want to get a good picture or see what's going on. So I'm just heading back. I'm dying because I've been standing out since three o'clock and it's now after five. So I really need to go to the supermarket and get something to drink and maybe a snack. Back at the hotel and I had something to drink but I've definitely got the sun on my lips and my face. I'm feeling a little bit whew, dehydrated from that. Um, but I'm just gonna go um, to the pool now, maybe sit outside, maybe have a swim, I've not decided yet. I had a nice relax by the pool and I had it all to myself. I had a bit of a dip in but it was quite cold and then I came back and I just chilled out in the bath for ages but I definitely got the sun I think and or maybe it was just a warm bath, I'm not sure. This is yesterday's sunburn from the ornithology park slash waiting for the bus after the ornithology park. Um, and I didn't wash my hair, but I probably should have looking at it now. Side note, in case you have noticed my hair getting wild and wilder and wilder throughout the week, it is because we didn't bring any straighteners or anything like that. Um, so my hair is finding its own way and making its own way in life. 